So I wanted to record a video on how to use um, one of these devices. The glass piece is called a pipette, um, and this is called a pipette pump. And this is a good device if you need to make a very accurate volume measurement. So um, this is marked off uh, in milliliters. I'll bring it in a little closer here. Um, we've got nine down here at the bottom going up to zero. And if you take the whole thing from the top mark to the bottom, um, it's gonna be able to hold 10 milliliters of solution. It's also marked off um, in tenths, okay? So if you needed to make a particular measurement like 7.4 milliliters, you would be able to do that. Um, you read up from the bottom uh, in terms of how much you actually end up delivering from the pipette. Um, we're actually gonna use this to get a 25 milliliter sample. So what we would need to do is fill it up to 10, two times, deliver the liquid each time, and then go to five. And whenever we make our measurements, we're gonna see that there's a meniscus, a curve in the uh, fluid, and we wanna measure from the bottom of that meniscus. So if I wanna go ahead and fill this up with 10 milliliters, I need to fill up the entire tube up to the zero mark. And the way I do that, there's a couple of different ways. The best way to do it precisely is to use the little thumb wheel. Um, as you turn the thumb wheel, the plunger goes up and it will draw water into the uh, pipette. So let me show you what that looks like. I just have a beaker of water here to practice. Um, I put the uh, tip of the pipette in the water. You can also kind of gently rest it on the bottom to make sure that you stay in the solution. And I'm just wheeling up the plunger. And hopefully you can see the water rising in the tube. There's a little bit of a time delay sometimes, especially if you're holding the pipette tightly against the glass. Um, and then I'm gonna just try to fill it all the way up to the zero mark at the top. And here I actually wanna get down to eye level and try to bring the meniscus right to the zero mark. And I actually went past, and I can actually turn the wheel in the opposite direction to go back down that mark. So I'm going to try to bring this in so that you can see it. And then actually it changed a little bit again. I got some drops coming out. That's okay. Go back. For some reason I'm just losing a little bit as I bring it out. That's pretty good. So hopefully you can see this. It's maybe here. There's a little bit of a curve. And I've noticed again, I might've lost a little bit of fluid. I think it a bit dripped out. That's okay, you just keep working. You're trying to get that curve right, the bottom of the curve right to the zero mark um, on the uh, pipette. Now to deliver the solution, I think maybe this isn't in here tight enough because I'm losing some drops. Once you have it to your desired measurement, this on the side is just a release valve. And if I push that release valve, the liquid will flow out of the bottom. And it should deliver the amount that you've measured. Okay. Um, there's gonna be a little bit left in the bottom to get that last bit out. You just push the plunger down until it blows out that little bit at the bottom. So these take a little bit of practice to work with. Um, you know, again, if I wanted to measure 15 mil or 25 milliliters total, I would do 10, 10, and then five. And you really wanna be as close as possible with that meniscus on each measurement, okay? So that's a quick introduction on how to use a pipette, the pipette pump. Uh, you'll have a chance to practice uh, with these before we actually use them in the lab.